Alrighty, so this class is going to be uh, talking about working with external reference files or external reference drawing or even called xrefs and this will be our last topic in AutoCAD and after this I will start uploading just the tutorials of how to draw objects how to draw a floor plan, how to draw uh, uh, elevations and stuff like that but this would be the last AutoCAD tutorial for uh, explaining the topics okay so what I'm going to do is open an existing drawing open drawing the drawing that I open is my first floor plan now if you see over here I have a first floor plan and I have a second floor plan so when I talk about xrefs I'm going to give an example of an architecture drawing which is where we mostly use xrefs we really don't use xrefs in um, in other engineering drawings but you can still find use for it but mostly every architecture firm or company that you work for they use xrefs now it's important to understand where we use xrefs now xrefs if you think about it is something like working with blocks remember in my previous class I talked about how to create a block and how to insert a block now instead instead of creating and inserting a block what we do is insert an existing drawing onto uh, this drawing as an overlay now what that helps is uh, it helps us in a few things one of the things is it helps us trace the other drawing like for instance this is first floor plan I might have to open the second floor and import the first floor drawing into the second floor to use as a template to trace so that's one of the things where xrefs are important but primarily the most important reason we use xrefs is basically to save time for example it's important to understand first of all why we use xrefs so that's why I have to give you an example now if I am working on a project of maybe a hotel now the hotel has 10 stories so for every story I have a first floor plan second floor plan third floor plan fourth floor plan fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth so I already have these 10 floors which I need to draw in AutoCAD now the problem is every floor that we have has 10 drawings of its own for example I will have a first floor uh, plan I have I will have a first floor mechanical plan I'll have a first floor electrical plan I'll have a first floor tiling plan I'll have a first floor ceiling plan I'll have a first floor structural plan uh, plumbing plan electrical plan so I already have 10 different first floor drawings same goes to the second floor third floor till the tenth floor now what happens is when I get my package my whole package ready for submittal to the city for approval then the plan checker tells me hey you know your carport that you see over here is not big enough you know you need to give 10 feet more for two cars to fit in now what I would have to do to make those changes I would have to do is go to my first floor plan increase the carport now I have to go to my first floor mechanical civil electrical plumbing tiling ceiling roofing everything I have to go and change all those drawings to make that small little change and then obviously that change would affect my second floor third floor fourth floor fifth floor sixth floor and tenth floor so to avoid time that's what we use xref for just like we use the blocks and when I had to edit uh, the block I just edited only the main original block and what happened that all my blocks were updated in a single second so xrefs 
work similarly but again this is working with individual files rather than just working with a small piece of block now let's see for example uh, I am going to work into this exercise now what I have is a first floor plan that's already considered is already finished now what I would do is make more drawings of this as in I'm going to make a first floor tiling plan so I just go uh, I just go uh, file I can save as this drawing right and I will give it a different name first floor tiling okay and I hit save then I will save it as again now see I have my first floor plan first floor tiling tiling I'm gonna give it first floor electrical save I'm going to save it as again as first floor mechanical save I'm going to save it as again as first floor ceiling save and I'll do one more save as as first floor uh, interiors and save so now I would have first floor ceiling electrical mechanical uh, and all these different drawings that you see right so I'll just hit save now what happens is if you see up here this is the first floor interior drawing and what it has is a live first floor drawing that has been uh, that is there because I saved as right but what I will do instead of having a live drawing live drawing is something that you can click and edit instead of having a live drawing I am going to import this first floor plan as an xref in my first floor interior first floor mechanical first floor plumbing so let's go and attach we are in the insert tab I go attach and I will be attaching a first floor original drawing which is my first floor plan and hit open hit OK and now it's asking me for specifying insertion point I'm going to do the insertion point right here which is 0 comma 0 comma 0 so I'll type it 0 comma 0 comma 0 and hit enter so you see it aligned my first floor right there now when I click on my first floor which is an extra you see everything comes in one piece so if you are working with XREFs and you import a drawing and if it doesn't come in one piece that means you're doing something wrong okay so I will uh, this is my first floor interiors right so you see I have all my interior furniture in here so I can add more furniture if I wanted in whatever layer that I wanted I, I could go to the furniture layer let's see maybe the cabinets let's see if they have a furniture layer here they don't okay so I will just use a cabinet layer now I will have some more cabinets there I'll have a cabinet here okay I'll have some tables and chairs here and I will have some cabinet in my garage some cabinet in the storage okay and I will save this file so now what this file has is my extra first floor and my live interior drawings okay my live interior drawings now I will go ahead and save this drawing I'll do one more over here because this is the area that we are going to change and I have saved my drawing now this drawing name is first floor interiors I have all my interiors in there and the main drawing 
as a reference is the first floor so what I can even do in this drawing is turn off some layers that I don't need now this is my furniture drawing so maybe I don't need some layers like maybe windows then I can do L A Y O F F standing for layer off enter I don't need my windows See, I gotta click right on the windows I'm clicking on the wrong one so let's see if I can grab a hold of the windows it's underneath so maybe I don't need my doors I'll just turn off all the doors I don't need that I'll turn that off okay and I'll save it so now I have my first floor interior drawing with the first floor xref and live furniture okay file is saved going to close it now I'll open another one first floor mechanical okay now what this has is a live first floor drawing which is obviously I don't need I just have it because I use the same exact template for uh, for making my life easier but I'll delete it and import in another xref for the first floor go attach and I go look for first floor plan hit open see it's exactly the same drawing but this comes in like an extra like an overlay like in block hit ok insertion point is 0 comma 0 comma 0 so when I'm drawing I make sure I start my drawing right there when I'm working with my drawings right so I have to keep that in mind now if I click on it just to confirm everything is one piece drawing name is mechanical drawing so when this is a mechanical drawing obviously I don't need a lot of stuff I'm gonna do lay off and turn off that turn off this uh, turn off the doors anything else I need to turn off maybe even turn this off okay now once I'm done turning my layers off which I don't need I'll go in home I'll go to let's see if I have a mechanical layer somewhere okay I have uh, an electrical if I don't have it then I will I will make it uh, let's see mechanical somewhere okay I cannot see a mechanical layer here oh uh, I have a plumbing okay so I'll just go ahead and make a new layer make a new layer going to call it plumbing mechanical I'll give it a color to what I want uh, maybe I'll give it that color hit OK and I'll make that layer current close the file now I will draw my mechanical layout where I draw the heater, where I draw all the pipes for air conditioning that go through in my house. Right? Just a simple block. I don't need to be detailed or specific as far as, you know, I make you guys understand how this works. Okay? So this is my mechanical drawing and I will save it. The ducts that you see over here are live and the drawing again that you see is an extra block so I save this drawing and I can close it I can always go open another drawing uh, which is for floor tiling where I'm gonna throw in some tiles now I'm doing all of this to just make you guys understand how the process works I'm gonna delete my live drawing which is I don't need it I'm going to insert the first floor AutoCAD first floor plan it open as an xref hit ok 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay now let's go to part 2 after this and I'll try to finish it in part 2 xref is a little complicated uh, thing to understand so I would like you guys to follow me as much as you can if you have any questions ask me okay now we we'll continue from this part in part 2